International space race to the moon has been hot for a while now, thanks to the possibility of ice on its surface. At the center of this race is the lunar south pole. Last year, India's Chandrayaan-3, the Chandrayaan-3 mission, did the impossible. It made the first soft landing there. Now, NASA has selected the site for its next mission in 2026, and China plans to create future habitats there. But a NASA study is ringing alarm bells too. It says the moon is shrinking. And that is not the biggest problem. When the moon shrinks, it creates moonquakes, much like the earthquakes on our planet. Each moonquake can last for a few hours. So why is the moon shrinking? Does this discourage space exploration to the moon? Our next report tells you. Frank Sinatra once famously sang, Fly me to the moon. Now, someone may need to tell him that's probably not a good idea. We aren't saying this, a new study is. It was funded by NASA. We mention this so you know that we aren't just howling at the moon. This is serious business and it is ringing alarm bells. The study says that the moon is shrinking. You heard that right, our beloved moon is shrinking. Now, Gen Z may say, first craters, now wrinkles, clearly the moon needs a skincare regime. But it's not that simple. Despite what its appearance may suggest, the moon has a hot interior. The outer layer of its interior is molten, and with time, it keeps cooling off. As it cools, the moon shrinks. The interior volume changes, so the crust has to adjust, and the surface creases. Think of it like a drying grape. It shrivels into an ugly, wrinkled raisin. The same thing is happening to the moon. Like most things in space, this is a slow process. Over the past few million years, the moon has shrunk about 150 feet in circumference. But the shrinking is not the worst part. What it leads to is the problem. You see, the moon's surface is brittle. So when it shifts, the wrinkles formed are actually cracks, like faults on Earth. Faults are fracture zones on the surface. Because of this, the moon is prone to quakes. Much like earthquakes on our planet, it suffers moonquakes. They can last for hours and cause landslides. The strongest moonquake recorded was equivalent to a 5.0 magnitude earthquake. On Earth, this magnitude is considered moderate, but on the moon, it is much worse. And such moonquakes could happen anywhere, even on the lunar south pole. Yes, the South Pole, which scientists are constantly mooning over. The lunar South Pole is at the heart of a fierce space race because it may contain ice, which could further space exploration and help settle human colonies there. Last year, Russia's Luna 25 spacecraft attempted to reach it. It crashed en route. Days later, India's Chandrayaan-3 mission made the first successful soft landing in the area. Now, NASA has selected the region for its next mission, the Artemis III mission in 2026. And China wants to create future habitats there. Does a shrinking moon affect these plans? To an extent, yes. Moonquakes could be a problem for future manned landing missions, but the danger posed is limited, simply because the missions last for short durations. And moonquakes are infrequent. But for long-term plans, like sending future human settlers to the moon, moonquakes would be a problem. The only upside is, the quakes would create a new opportunity. They would help us understand the moon better. So while this study may dampen some plans, it also illuminates the lunar surface further. Not in the real sense, of course. We have the sun for that. <laughs>